Hey everyone, Tristan back with another video and in this video I just wanted to talk a little bit about my Leica M10R black paint camera. Um, I did do a prior sort of first look video um, set to music, so check that out in the top left. I will link to it. Um, but I am starting to carry this with me more. I mean, trying to take more pictures, frankly. I got this during COVID times and really wasn't taking that many pictures. So I've been trying to carry it with me everywhere and take more pictures. And maybe I will do a follow-up video when I have more pictures to share. I can do like um, a slideshow or something like that. But if you're not interested in Leica cameras or photography, um, and you're just in, you know here on my channel for other things, you can go ahead and skip this video. But anyway, I wanted to talk about this because this camera recently sold out. They only made 2,000 of these and like a stop, you know, it's a limited production. So you can't really get them anymore except maybe on eBay. So I was very, very lucky to be able to get this camera because of the um, current Leica cameras that they make are, are predominantly a finish that they call black chrome or silver chrome, which is an anodized finish, which is a lot more durable. Whereas this is a black paint finish, which as you can see here, it's kind of shiny. And the black paint is the finish that really uh, will brass and stuff over time. And I'm just trying to cover the serial number here with my finger, but I want to show you the top plate. If we can see that, there's the top plate there. Um, yeah, so this black paint finish is going to, you know, with usage, um, brass a lot easier because technically it's a softer kind of a surface that kind of brasses and chips as you use it and you know as, as you are touching it and stuff like that the paint eventually kind of wears off and it yields sort of a gold color uh, you know brass underneath which I think is really really cool and a lot of people like. Now Leica doesn't really make black paint cameras that much these days anymore they're more focused on the uh, black chrome and silver chrome finishes the anodized ones because these aren't as durable I mean those you know these these will show flaws a lot more easy and I think probably there's a certain majority of people out there that don't like the black paint like they think they the camera should you know not show scratches and and um, not the paint shouldn't wear off and stuff like that is easy but I'm kind of the opposite I've always wanted a black paint like an M camera and just never had one and um, you know using this a lot and getting it brassed up is something that I really look forward to so that's one reason why uh, the like M10R black paint version is already a collector's item because they're already all sold out of the 2000. And then the other thing is that Leica is rumored to be announcing a new Leica M11 model uh, in the next month or so in January uh, 2022. And that is rumored to have a non-removable base plate. So, you know, all the Leica M digital cameras um, before have a base plate that you can actually take off um, to remove the battery. Let me go ahead and do that here. So, you know, it's just like the film Leica M's where you can take off the base plate and, you know, the battery, you know, to put in a new battery. Now, some might say that's kind of kind of stupid for um, a digital camera, like you don't really need that for a digital camera, but it does give it that sort of film feel because you know, all the Leica M film cameras had a base plate that you had to remove to um, take out and put a new roll of film in. So if they come out with a new Leica M11 that doesn't have a removable base plate, and that's what the rumor is, it's going to have a fixed base plate just kind of like the current Leica Q or Leica Q2s. It's going to be kind of like that. If they do that, then this form factor, I think, is going to be even more collectible. So the prior versions, you know, this camera, you know, the Leica M10R, Leica M10P, and Leica M10s, and even before, are maybe going to be a form factor that's going to be more sought after for a lot of you know Leica M purists um, because it's just going to be the more close to the old film Leica M you know traditional classic cameras because if they release an M11 without the removable base plate that's going to be further and further away you know from the film uh, days or so to speak you know what I mean or from the from the film Leica M cameras so anyway of course these are just my opinions and sort of um, ramblings on this on the topic but I do think it's kind of interesting to ponder anyway but yeah I've been very happy with this camera and again feel really lucky to have gotten it um, I just really like it a lot I think not only does it look really really cool but also it's you know a great performer it's 40 megapixels my prior Leica M I, I had the both I had both the Leica M10 and then after that the Leica M10P those were 24 megapixels which is still actually plenty but uh, having the 40 megapixels on this just um, gives me that little extra uh, resolution there um, actually a lot more resolution 
almost double if you really think about it. Um, and I'm able to crop more um, and still get a really great image uh, with the 40 megapixels. So the Leica M11 is rumored to have uh, 60 megapixels though, but we'll have to wait and see for that. I think the announcement on that is coming up uh, in January. Uh, the other thing you may have noticed is my base plate is completely free of any stickers and I recommend you, I highly recommend you do that. Um, it just makes it so much nicer to have not no like electronic stickers on the, on the bottom. And the way I did that is I first peeled them off gently like with my fingernail, peeled off all the stickers and everything from the base plate. And doing that unfortunately tends to leave some adhesive on your base plate. So what I end up having to do to remove that adhesive is I get something called Goo Gone and I'll put a link to it in the description field. Um, Goo Gone works very well and just take a microfiber cloth with the Goo Gone liquid and just wipe it on there and it actually kind of dissolves any like adhesive or anything that's still left on there. And then after that you probably want to take another microfiber cloth with a little bit of soapy water and just remove any residue and actually you know from the uh, base plate and as you can see I have a pretty you know free and clear base plate after that and I've done that with all my digital M cameras. I think it just looks so much better without that so I highly recommend um, you do that. Uh, and then the only other thing that I've pretty much done to this camera aside from this um, you know, brown leather Leica camera strap, which I will also link to in the description field, is uh, a gla tempered glass screen protector on the back. Um, now the screen is actually Gorilla Glass on the Leica M10 cameras, however I still like the added protection in case um, I just hit it against something and perhaps scratch it it just gives an added layer of protection to the screen and you know if I damage or scratch the screen protector I can just pull that off and put another one on and the screen underneath is perfectly pristine also this screen protector doesn't seem to take any way um, any like, brightness or you know anything like that from the screen I can basically not even tell that it's there um, so it performs very very well and I'll try to, if I can find the link to this screen protector, I'll put that in the description field as well. Um, but I'm very happy with it. And I think it comes in a two pack as well. So if this screen protector gets scratched or cracked, I can always just pull it off and then just put another one on without any problem. And then the lens that you're looking at here is the Leica Sumalux 50 uh, f1.4 lens. I'm really one of my favorite lenses uh, out there. It's a really great performing lens. Uh, in some respects, I even like it better than like the more expensive Noctilux um, lens from Leica. Um, just the uh, image rendition and the color rendition from the Sumalux 50 in particular is just really, really amazing. And it also has the built-in hood that you just kind of pull out here and then you can kind of twist it to lock it so that it stays. But I actually don't use the hood very often on this. Um, I actually don't mind some flare and stuff like that. Um, so I don't actually use the hood that often. What I do use, however, is a uh, filter here just to protect the front element. Uh, and this is a heliopan filter. So what is it, uh, 46 millimeters, I believe. And I'll just screw, and I just screw that on. And then I've got a filter there. So that's kind of just the same thing as um, the protection for the screen. It's just in case I bump the lens or something. I can always break the filter, but I'm kind of afraid to scratch or mar the front element of this expensive lens, because um, this is a very expensive lens. So um, having a filter on there, I think helps a lot. And, and I think with this particular Heliopan filter, I don't notice any image degradation at all. This particular Heliopan is made in Germany and it is a UV filter. It's an SH-PMC um, Heliopan uh, brand filter. So anyway, I think it's a fairly decent filter. Um, I wouldn't want uh, you know, a lower quality filter than this, but there are probably better filters out there as well. So anyway, this has just been kind of my ramblings on my Leica M10R black paint uh, camera. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, if you have anything to add to the discussion, please leave a comment. It's always fun to engage with. Um, it's always fun to, it's always fun to engage, to have like a discussion in the comments field. I'll see you in my next video.